everyone welcome to your 16th R tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to merge data sets uh, at the request of someone who commented on my page I'm do going to start this video off a little bit different usually what I do is I'll type out everything as I go line by line but because there really aren't any built-in data sets that are ready, ready to be merged for an example and because this example is about merging data and not about creating data you can see in the source table I've already written code that will create two very small very simple data tables if you want to follow along with what I'm doing if I were you I would pause the video look at the code that I have there and copy it into your session of R run that code and then you can go along with me but I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me type it out by hand so uh, without any further comment I'm gonna run the code that I have there it's gonna create two data frames data frame one data frame two with some data in there so I've created these two data frames and we can see uh, from the code in there that they both have a key and I'm gonna go ahead and run both of these data frames uh, I'm uh, uh, run these in the uh, console so that we can see what these data frames look like and we can see they both have a key and some of these keys match between the two data frames and a lot of times in data analytics we want to take information in one table and combine it with information in another table and of course R has functionality that allows us to do that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that there is a very convenient function already built into all R called merge where you can merge on a key let's go ahead and use this function I'll go ahead and type this out and before I run it all talk a little bit about what it's doing okay so the first argument in merge I put DF1 that's the first data frame I want to merge DF2 is the second data frame I want to merge that third option there I'm specifying a field on which to join by equals on the left hand side and on the right hand side I've decided to join on the field called key you can join on more than one field if you want but in this case it really only makes sense for me to join on that key field but you can see that I have a vector there uh, if I wanted three or four or ten different fields to join on I could very easily do that so let me go ahead and run this and we can see in the output well when we looked at that first data frame and the second data frame the only two keys that were shared between these two data frames were triple A and triple C and going from left to right looking at that merge data frame we can see the key uh, the key field is carried down that the key keys carried down only triple A and triple C remain and each of the fields for each of the rows uh, for each of these keys is preserved as well so for example with that triple A key in that first data frame field one had a value of three and uh, in the merge data frame field one has a value of three in the second data frame triple A had a value of two in that field called field two and in the new merge data frame we can see that it's two as well and similar story for triple C what might be uh, a little bit different than some of the languages that you're used to if you come from a different programming languages you'll see that some of those key fields were dropped uh, sometimes some languages are like R where they'll drop the fields like this but other languages you might be used to like uh, like SAS they'll actually keep those fields by default now there might be situations where we actually want to keep those fields R of course has functionality to uh, to do that as well and let me show you how to do that let's say I want to keep all of the key all of the records in the first data frame but I don't want to keep any of the records in data frame 2 if there's not a match in data frame 1 
The code is very similar to above, and in fact, it's so similar, I'm just going to copy and paste. I'll erase this and just paste. And I'm going to add another optional argument. The first data frame is referred to as like the X data frame. The second data frame I refer to is like the Y data frame. So if I want to keep all of the X arguments, I type all.x equals true. If I wanted to do the opposite and keep everything in the second data frame, I would have all.y equals true. So let me go ahead and run this, and we'll look at the output. And we can see it's what we expected, that triple B key field is reserved. It had a value of 1 for field 1. And for field 2, because there was no match in the second data frame, there is uh, an NA value in field 2. Now, if we wanted to keep everything from both fields, you could do one of two things. You could type in all that x equals true and all that y equals true. But if you read the documentation, you can realize that you can just type all equals true. And let me go ahead and run that. And we can see that all the keys were preserved. And NAs filled in were necessary. I'll leave it at that. Uh, for this video, there's uh, there's some more uh, features in the merge documentation, and you can go ahead and read it yourself if you uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about merging data sets. Uh, you just type question mark merge, and you'll see the documentation pop up in the uh, uh, pop, and you'll see the documentation pop up for you. I'll uh, that's it for merging data sets, and I'll see you guys next time.